So in terms of work today, I guess what I love most about it is just, I love the variety, I love the fun, I love the people we work with, everyone that we work with are like kind of good friends and amazing people and there's just such a melting pot of ideas and creativity and getting to play with food every day and just the variety of food and what's in season and what's coming and what ideas, I, yeah, I get very excited about it. Um, yeah, so one funny story I remember um, as teenagers, probably about 16, went out, St. Patrick's Day, if you don't know, in Ireland, it's when people go out and they get hammer drunk, lots of people do. And I was a kind of teenage boy and went out and got hammered and had a great time. Came back home and mom saw me in the state I was. She was like, what you? And kind of just started, you know, giving out to me as, as she was dead right to do. Uh, and me being a typical teenage boy went, what? And ran off and didn't want to sleep in any, didn't go to sleep in any friend's house or granny's because I knew she'd go looking for me there. Um, so ran down to the beach and slept on the rocks for the night. And this was, you know, March 17th you know, freezing. Um, and the next morning, of course, I walked back home and mom and dad had spent half the night calling friends and trying to find me, worried sick, and um, walk into school and I was called Huggleberry Flynn for the rest of the year. In school, we used to sleep beside, we used to sit beside each other. We were total Flynn twins. We used to play the same position in rugby, then went off to college and we separated at college and kind of had to work out how to be individuals. And then when we finished college, I remember, with Dave, kind of not sure what we wanted to do and kind of going, there has to be more to life. So I headed off to Whistler. If you don't know Whistler, it's kind of just outside of Vancouver, this really cool mountain for skiing and for mountain biking and all this. And I went there because I'd seen kind of a video, a movie, where there was lots of pretty women at parties. And I thought, yes, please, I'd love some of that. So I went off to Whistler and um, expected to find parties and women and all I got interested in was being a vegetarian. I met a cool dude called Adrian from South Africa, or from Australia. Adrian, if you're watching, big love, bro. Um, but he, he was a vegetarian and I hadn't met many vegetarians because I went to an all boys school. We used to go drink and chasing women. You know, I didn't meet any vegetarians and if I did, they were generally small and bullied. So meeting this guy, uh, Adrian from Australia, cool dude, mad into surfing. I thought, yes, you are cool. I was 22, highly impressionable and thought, kind of, vegetarian, wow, thinking about your food and how it affects you, that's amazing. So I decided as a vegetarian and um, called Dave up at the end of the week, kind of, and as twins, you're kind of competing for love all your life, you know, you're just born and bred on competition. And I called up Dave, he was in South Africa, Dave, I'm a vegetarian, I definitely have one up in you. Uh, and he was in South Africa at the time and lo and behold, typical twin power, he became a vegetarian the same week, independent of each other. So after Whistler, I went up to the kind of the wilds of Canada. Uh, we used to have to get a helicopter to work every day and we planted trees, great crack, planted about 100,000 trees or plus up in kind of bear country, great fun. Highly recommend living in a tent for the summer, getting in with your inner caveman, great fun. Uh, then from there, I guess I went, uh, I was the only vegetarian on that, of course, and then got kind of interested in being a vegan and a raw foodist and went kind of hanging out, like went to Burning Man and then went to a load of kind of Sustainable, sustainable, egalitarian, kind of polyamorous communities. Such fun, wow. Um, I guess Dave got into fast and he kind of called me up one day going, Steve, yeah, you're fast and amazing. Yeah, yeah, what do you do, what do you do? Yeah, you just starved yourself. Wow, cool. So I, um, I went off, I was, kind of, I was living in the south of France. At the time I was living in Montpellier. I was kind of learning French and you know, you, at least I had these romantic ideals, living in the south of France, the markets, la longue, c'est très belle. And I was living kind of, I was real into meditation at the time and raw food and, you know, real Puritan living. Um, and I bought an old bike and cycled around Provence for about a month and just kind of, I had a, a sleeping bag and a, and a kind of plastic cover. And I didn't even have a tent and just slept rough on the side of the road and kind of spent a month on my own. It was great fun. But I went up the end, I went to, what was that, uh, Corsica. You know where Asterix and Obelix are from. Uh, I went there and went up to the top of it and found a kind of quiet spot and went in a five day fast. And at the end of it, I called Dave up and kind of went, Dave, you know that green grocer back home in where, where we grew up and where mom used to buy her fruit and veg? What do you reckon about trying to buy it and t start a food revolution? And uh, Dave said, well, what about money? I was like, ah, don't worry about money. It's only money we borrowed from someone. Um, so we borrowed money and we had our platform for a food revolution. We're both total idealists and dreamers. And at the time, I remember I wanted to try, um, 
what's that one called? Anarchy. Um, so when we started the shop first, uh, we had a couple of friends working with us, and I, I thought, Anarchy, this seems like a great idea. Yeah, 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 feck the system. We were total rebels. Um, and I remember I didn't want to give anyone direction or anything. I was just like, they should be allowed to put in their own creative input, man. Um, didn't work. Good idea, though. It was nice trying it, though. Um, and I guess we've kind of fumbled our way on from that and just had a great fun and great laugh. And hope you enjoyed my stories anyway. Um, thanks for watching. It feels a bit weird saying buy on my own, but um, give us a thumbs up um, and wishing you happiness. Bye.